Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. Man, this audio sounds better, I hope, than last week. Sorry about that in advance. If you're listening to this podcast, that was awful. 30 minutes of telephone talk. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Bobby Walker's an awesome dude. Anywho, um, thanks for checking us out. If this is your first time listening or watching the podcast, it is available on iTunes, SoundCloud, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Go out there and subscribe to any of those and listen every week. It'd be super appreciated. If you're watching on YouTube or you'd like to check it out on YouTube, it's also there at WCR Nation. Um, thanks for checking it out. We are in the 60s. We have over 20 hours of content, so go back and watch it. Not all of it sucks. Uh, some of it's kind of good. Might might say so myself. So go back and check it out. Uh, and, and I appreciate you being here. So if you are one of the elite, one of the cool kids... Somebody who buys your supplies through me and you watch and listen to every episode and you've given us the thumbs up and you've liked our content. It is because of you that I get to eat real marshmallows in my hot chocolate. So thank you very, very much for that. If you want to be one of my awesome elite cool kid uh, clientele, that would be amazing to me. It would make my day. Give me a call or shoot me a text at 862-312-2026. I am a rep for window cleaning resource, of course. So if there's anything I can do for you, any products or questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and make my day. Um, yeah, so we are going to do a couple shout outs. I got a bunch today. Um, I need to start shouting out more people on YouTube. If you've commented on that, not only are you getting the chance to win our swag bag every single week just by commenting on YouTube, but uh, uh, I also want to say thanks. So first off, uh, Landon, what's going on, man? Landon Selman, uh, I, he said I had to say hi to him, so what's going on, man? Uh, definitely appreciate everything from you. Uh, Josh Weaver, uh, Philip Humes, Jacob Williams, Bobby Walker, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, and uh, Mark Rhodes, Mr. Uh, 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 Gimpy uh, Flipper right now. Um, what's up to everybody? Thanks for checking it out. Always watching, always commenting. Now listen, last week on YouTube, we almost got to 50 thumbs up. That's our goal this week. So if you're watching, please do me a huge favor right now. Click that thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. We're trying to get over 50 likes on this video. That would be awesome. So go and do that. Um, the winner for this week is Joey Heider. H-E-I-D-E-R. What's going on, Joey? Uh, you won $50 swag bag and the WCR uh, $50, $50 credit and swag bag. So all you got to do is email me your uh, information, uh, name and email. Uh, an address. My email is josh at windowcleaningresource.com. Go ahead and shoot that out. If you want to win, comment on YouTube. So anyway, I'm trying to get a faster intro. I really, really, truly am. But anyway, so this week we are actually talking about making a million bucks. Everybody wants to make a million bucks. That's like everybody's goal. Like go into forums and you see people on there who are like, hey, are there any window cleaning companies that have made a million dollars? Like that's like that is the number to strive for. And now, again, every single week I tell people, this does not necessarily constitute what you want to do in your business, or where you're going or where you're at or anything. If you're a one-man show and that's all you want to be, that's awesome. You have freedom and every dollar you make is your dollar. That's awesome. High five. Like We're doing it out there, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean you, not everybody, but a lot of people say a million bucks. Now, I broke down the numbers for a million dollars. There's a lot of million dollar companies out there. There's a lot. Um, it is not undoable. It's just not. Uh, by any means, you know, there's lots of, of multi-million dollar companies and companies even bigger than that. So um, they're out there and they're doing great. There's a lot of crap that comes with having a larger company. Just ask some of these guys that have large companies. Like they go through more headaches than you'd even know. You know, yes, some things are easier, like hiring. Say you got 20 employees, and uh, 20 employees, basically, if one calls out, you can split that person's stuff up, and you got coverage, sure. But now you got to keep 20 employees happy with work, and if one leaves, now you have all that work that you can't really pair on to everybody else. you got to find new people and always have that replenishing kind of pool. There's a lot of turnover in window cleaning. We know that. Which, by the way, be a Trump fan or not, uh, the economy right now is awesome. The downside of that is jobs are easier to come by, which makes the hiring pool suck 
balls right now if you're trying to hire you've seen it it sucks like it's you, you can't you can't find people to save your life so think about this as you try to strive more and more there are more problems more headaches and you may have to start doing the abh always be hiring because you're always going to be having new people but let's dive in real quick to the million bucks if you want to make a million dollars let's do some numbers here making a million dollars a year divided by 52 weeks is $19,231 a week. Now, that is not taking into uh, consideration any vacation time or holiday pay or clothes shot down time off. The middle of January, February, it doesn't count any of that. It is steady. $19,231 every single week. You go, well, okay. I see that. It's a big number, but okay, we've had some weeks maybe that we've had. Okay, great. Now do that every single week no matter what. It has to average, obviously. So if you're making $30,000 in the spring or fall, you can make a little less in the winter. But it has to average at $19,231 a week to make a million bucks. Now divide that, $19,231, divide that by five. So now you've gone weeks, now you got five days, right? $3,847 a day. Now you go, okay, well, that actually seems a little bit obtainable because we've had $3,000 days or we've gotten closer. We've had, heck, $1,000 days, $2,000 days, whatever you had. And now you know $3,847 a day you need to make. Now, divide that $3,847 in by eight because there's eight hours in a day. Yes, some people work six days a week. Some people work nine, 10 hours a day. But we're just doing general numbers here. It's $481 an hour is what you need to make now unless you're absolutely amazing and you have the best roofs you could ever clean or you're in bethesda maryland or some weird crazy place you're not making 481 dollars a day by yourself but if you were to make 75 bucks an hour 481 dollars divided by 75 dollars an hour means you need to have six and a half guys that's Weird if you can hire half a guy. But anyway, six and a half guys you need to have working at 75 bucks an hour every hour for eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, and 52 hours a year to make a million bucks. Boom. You got a million dollar company. I break it down that much. All you need to have is six and a half guys, you know, or six and a half girls, whatever. It's a piece of cake. Except for when you start looking into everything about like vacation time and sick time and slow times and injuries and uh, it's it becomes more more of a mess. Totally doable, but work the numbers. Next time somebody asks you, is it doable to make a million dollars in window cleaning? Yeah, it is, and that's how you do it. Six and a half guys working eight hours at seventy five dollars an hour, forty hours a week, fifty two hours or fifty two weeks a year is going to equal a million dollars. Now. I want to ask you this. Why does it matter? Why does it matter to make a million dollars? Like, here's the thing. Okay, I've been in business for 13 something, 50, I don't know what the number is. 13 years, 14 years, something like that, right? So in that time, there's been a lot of like, you know, gold star moments. And I know you have too. Everybody has. We've all gotten into business for a certain you know, reasons, certain goals we've achieved, certain things that in your first year of business, which we talked to Bobby Walker last year about being a new guy, he's kind of two years in doing amazing stuff, but there's certain things in the beginning. Do you remember your first route job? You remember closing that? Like what? I just closed this job and I'm going to have money every single week forever if I can keep that job. Or what about the first day you made, um, you got a comma, in your day right like you made over a thousand dollars for that day holy crap snacks that was an amazing day could you believe it who how many people did you tell when you hit that goal or if you're gonna hit that goal soon how many people are you gonna tell you better jump on the forums you better tell me you better email me or text me and be like dude i just had a comma day hashtag comma day you now you know uh, but that's that's a that's that's something to go for right it's a goal that you went through. A million dollars, half a million dollars, man. There's a lot of headaches that come with that. Is that a cool number? Sure. But you know what else is a cool number? A hundred G's, right? 
if you haven't hit $100,000 in yearly yet, that is going to be the goal. Right now, that's the goal. Look at it. If you're new, you've never even started. I had a guy today who was like, I hate working where I'm working. I bought all the stuff. I'm going to start this thing and see what I can do. Freaking awesome, man. High five. Think about right now. Where are you going to be? Is $100,000 doable? Yeah, $100,000 totally doable. Super easy when you really think about it, right? But, by the way, million dollars to $100,000, drop a zero, all those numbers work. You need to make $1,923 a week. You need to make uh, $384 uh, uh, a day. You need to make uh, $48 an hour. Okay, there you go. Now you got $100,000 working 40 hours a week, eight hours uh, a day at 48 bucks an hour. Like, there you go. There's a translation, right? What about that for a goal, right? The number doesn't mean anything. I know companies who look at uh, look at uh, Mr. Hinderleiter, the man. Mr. Hinderleiter's got like 100 employees or something. Like, he's going crazy. Brandon Vaughn, the name I hear every time anybody talks about anything, which... I'm trying to do another nation with him. If you want to see a nation with Brandon Vaughn, comment down below. He said, sure. He sent me over his calendar and I didn't pick a day because it just was like one of those things where I just didn't pick a day. So I got to get with Brandon Vaughn. We'll do We'll do an episode. Let me know if you want to see Brandon Vaughn. But he's another guy. He's got tons of guys. Like these guys who have created something that has, they have lots of employees and lots of trucks and whatever. Everybody's goal is different. It's six and a half guys. That's its own. If you got, well, we'll say seven because the half guy just keeps creeping me out, right? What if you hit two guys? You have two people working for you. What if you hit that goal? What if you got five guys working for you? Dude, that's a huge freaking goal. What about you got 10 guys working for you, right? Every goal that you have is special to you. That's what matters. It doesn't matter the million dollars. That's a cool number. It's a cool numbers thing. If you're in banking like I was, maybe numbers matter. Everything can be broken down as far as, you know. Okay, let's talk bids real quick. If you're doing a bid on a project that's so massive, you can always shoot me the pictures and say, man, I need a couple, uh, I need some help. I do that all the time. I love doing that for people. So that resource is there, Josh, at windowcleaningresource.com. But what I tell people is when you're doing a bid, break it down into the smallest piece. What about a side of the building, a piece of the building? Take a yellow like ledger book thing, you know, and go walk around the building and take one little piece at a time. Go, that's going to take me 30 minutes to do that. Go to the next piece. That's going to take me 45 minutes. Go to the next piece. That'll take me two hours. That'll, by the time you have all these numbers down, you know exactly times because you can bid what's going to take you an hour, 20 minutes, two hours, 30 minutes, right? That's going to tell you kind of, you break big things down in little pieces. So any goal that you have, break it down into a little piece and you can track how to get there. We talk about tracking, we talk about systems and all that stuff. It's all awesome stuff, but it all goes towards the main goal. And your main goal doesn't have to be a million dollars. If it is, well, now you know the numbers. Again, $19,231 a week. $3,847 a day, $481 an hour, that's $75 an hour working for six and a half guys, seven guys, with vacations, we'll say seven, right? But now you know those numbers, but everybody's goal is different. Success itself is not based on a number, right? I've met, I just talked to a guy a week ago and he said to me, he goes, hey, he goes, I just started like a year ago. And I'm making this year, we're going to be making uh, 80, 80 something, 85, $86,000 this year, or he's made already he's on, on slate to make 110 or something, whatever these numbers were. I apologize that I forgot. Sorry, dude. That's not my intent. But he had these numbers. He goes, man, I could not believe a year ago that I'd be in this position. Like I lost my job. Like I uh, had a kid right? I hated what I did. I didn't do anything. I dropped out of school. I did whatever. But now I'm making X amount. Like happiness is success. Success is based on happiness. So whenever I say to people and a lot of negativity is on Facebook, we know that we go there, you filter it out. If you've been on Facebook long enough, by the way, you can tell the crap 
that's on there, you just like have a bigger net, right? And a lot of it falls through. You look for the good stuff. You skip over the people who are just there to hate on other people and uh, and just stuff going on. See, my job is to go through Facebook stuff, so I'm on there all the time. But anyway, happiness is success. Success is happiness. Why? Why did you start this in the first place? The reason is is because you know in the beginning you weren't happy doing whatever it was you were doing. If you were fired, you weren't happy not working or not making money. If you had a crappy job, you weren't happy at the crappy job. If you did anything that you're doing, you weren't happy. And happiness is really what you're going for. It's not the money. The money does make you happy. People go, money can't buy happiness. Okay, have you not had money once? Because that buys you sadness. If you don't have money, money buys you sadness. You know what's nice? nice is when you have it doesn't need to be a certain dollar amount but when you're making enough money that when something comes up or a truck breaks you need to buy new equipment which falls coming up this is the busiest time for buying equipment too is coming up when you can just go like ah you know what i need that gutter vac system just had a guy a little bit ago. i need a gutter vac system i got a big job coming up and i'm just it's time i'm gonna get it here's my card number let's get it when you can make a big ticket item and not have the worry that you had in the beginning that's happiness. That's money created that happiness, right? You ever ridden uh, in a Ferrari? <laughs> you ever ridden on a Harley? Uh, if you got a Harley or a nice car too, post it up. I want to see pictures. But that stuff's all happiness because your sacrifice is the work you're doing so that you could be happy. And maybe you're happy doing this work. Everybody hits the lull, but maybe you're happy cleaning windows. Maybe you love cleaning windows. Maybe you like being outside. Maybe you love battling spiders in the spring and wasp nests, right? Maybe that all keeps things active. You love talking to people. Or you love, which was one of my favorite things, is going into a little old lady's house who you just made her day. Not only did she not talk to anybody in a while, so that like 12-minute job that should have taken you is taking you an hour and 15 minutes. I've had those. I do those because I had people from the very beginning where I go myself and I just I go just talk to them. And uh, stuff like that makes you happy. Right? I didn't make any money, but I'm happy. Happiness is success. And success is based on happiness. So going for a million dollars is not necessarily it. Now, here's the thing. What if wherever you are right now, you could make twice as much money? Would you necessarily be happier than where you are now? Maybe, maybe, maybe you're only making 10 grand and you're struggling to pay bills. Maybe another $10,000 would be huge in your time. Maybe there's guys that would love to make another $10,000 a month. And that would be kind of nice, you know? Maybe you're at a lull where you're at maximum uh, efficiency. And you don't want to get any bigger, right? That means that all your bills right now, you have the most employees. And you're making the most amount of money without incrementing or uh, increasing any of your bills exponentially, right? Maybe you need to hire someone else. If I get any more work, i got to hire an office person. Right? You're at sat- uh, saturation. You, don't, you can't get any bigger. So maybe you don't want to get bigger. So maybe more money is not your thing. But what if you could work stronger? Maybe what if you could make an extra $5 an hour on every job? Right. So money is important. But money is what creates happiness. And happiness is success. My big thing in business is that I can do what I want to do when I want to do it. Now, if I have when my wife was pregnant, I went to every single doctor's appointment ever. Every single one for both kids. Every one. Now, I could care less. I mean, eventually it get kind of interesting, you know, and you're doing like the, uh, you know, the little sonogram ultra thing. You know, the little thing where you can see the babies, right? But everything else, when you just do checkups and they're checking their lady bits and you're just like staring at the ceiling like, all right, everything's good. We'll see you in four weeks. That's dumb. But I was there, right? She was happy I was there. It was somebody to hold their hand, you know? What about assemblies? If you got kids, you understand the amount of stuff these kids do. Assemblies, piano, ballet, all this stuff. What if you get to see all that? That's happiness. Think about this. In a family life, and if you don't have kids or a wife or anything right now, this is not one side or the other. I'm just explaining what I have personally in my life. But everybody has things that their parents did that they didn't like, right? I was an 80s kid, as a lot of you probably were. And don't tell me if you're a 2000s kid. I don't want to know that. 2018 means you were born in 2000. That's crazy. I was out of high school already. But anyway, 80s kid. 
everybody is working is bigger in the 80s if everything was just right what if i didn't see my parents as much as my kids see me so like maybe that's something i want to change maybe that's how i want to have my family dynamic maybe i want to be able to go on vacations maybe i want to go to the beach or to the mountains that's my happiness that's my success that that's my million dollars really right I don't need to break that down into every day, every hour, how many guys I need to have. My happiness comes from being able to be free. So maybe that's your happiness. You know, Don't get caught up on the numbers. The numbers are cool when you're measuring things. When it's a measuring contest, which Facebook is a lot of the time. There's a lot of guys, we'll go. So I got, I got 30 guys. I got, I made, like, guys just got in trouble. Not in trouble. The thing the internet loves to do is call people out. They love to say, oh, you said this? Well, this doesn't, like, there was a big thing with numbers and and people have said things. It just doesn't add up, you know, like, I I make a million dollars a year and it's me by myself. And you're going, oh, that doesn't make sense. Numbers don't add up, right? So, but measuring contests, you go to shows, you go to, uh, on Facebook, you go in the forums. It's a measuring contest. Those are the only thing that numbers really matter. Because here's the thing, if you can set a goal, and you have the goal in your head, and it doesn't matter if it's, I want one employee, I want 50 employees, I want a million bucks, I want 100,000, I want $50,000 a year, I want a comma month, or a comma day, right? If those goals are yours, you keep them up here, keep them in your head. If you smash that record, or you smash that goal, F and A, man. You don't need to measure. You don't need to tell other people, hey, look what I did because it's me and I'm dead. Unless you want to put it out there, you certainly can. But you don't have to. You can have a goal in your head, smash the crap out of that goal, and change your goal the next day and smash that goal. Keep doing it. What if you want to have a comma day? What if now you want to have a a five-digit day? right? What if you want to have a a whatever kind of day? You, you, You can change... However you want to do that goal. And it's up to you. But everything is based on your happiness. And success is. So it doesn't have to be that whole uh, million dollar side. Everybody's in different parts of their lives. But every milestone is huge. And what I want you to do is if you're watching on YouTube right now. Or you're listening on the podcast. Go to YouTube. Give us a thumbs up. But tell me what your milestone is. Let's do this experiment. If you're watching right now, this is playing on your computer, just take one second, write down, it doesn't matter what it is, man, it doesn't matter what anybody says about your goal. If it is to make $100 a day, if that's your goal, write it down on YouTube right now so I can see it. And it doesn't, don't give two dumps about what the next person says because it's not their goal. We're in different places, man. We're in different spots of the company. You're in different spots of your business. Don't care what others say. Write your goal down. And then crush the crap out of it. It doesn't have to be a million dollars. And you're not going to make a million dollars sitting on your butt doing nothing. But if that is your goal, to make a million bucks, put it down. Tell me how you're going to make $481 a day. Tell me how many people you're going to have working. Tell me how much you're going to make every single week. What's your goal? Where you're at? Let's see. Let's put it out there. Because here's the thing. If two mice are measuring, it's a lot different than two elephants. So having you measure up to other people will not only hinder you, but it just drains your happiness because somebody, it's like Facebook life. Everybody puts the good on Facebook. You look at everybody else, Facebook's caused more divorces because of that. They look on and go, well, look at, look at Joe and Cindy. They, they, they're so happy. We're not happy. Well, you see all of your life. You see the crap days. You see the food poisoning. You see the taxes. You see the everything. When Joe and Cindy are not putting that stuff on Facebook, man, they're only putting happy stuff. So you run your life according to others. You're always going to be chasing the unattainable. That's not their life. Because even as happy as Joe and Cindy are, I don't know who Joe and Cindy are, but they're just people, right, that I made up. But if, no matter what they are, You're not going to measure up to them because they're not showing you the whole picture. It's the same thing. Don't go for the million. Don't think that because you have less guys in the next that you're of less company. You're in a different season in your business. Maybe you're a healthier company. The healthier you are, the happier you are. That's what matters. No one can take your happiness from you. No one. 
and everybody's happiness is different. So making a million dollars, it's cool. It, it's, it's a milestone. It's a sexy number, but it doesn't have to be everybody's goal. But it's totally doable. One more time, just go over those numbers so you don't have to ask on a forum. Is it possible? $1 million divided by 52 weeks is $19,231. That divided by five, five days that you're working a week is $3,847. That divided by eight, eight hours in a day is $481 an hour. And that divided by 75 is six and a half guys. So go out there. If you want to make a million bucks, tell me. Tell whoever you want. I don't care. Keep it inside. It doesn't matter. A million bucks is just a number. But if that's going to make you happy, that's going to make you happy. I just talked to a guy um, from when I recorded this two days ago. And he was in uh, some floods. We had some weather here in North Carolina. He's out on the coast. He got hit pretty hard. He lost like chunks of his roof, um, fencing pieces. Like it, it's a mess, like wa- house underwater, that kind of thing. Um, but he said, you know what? He says, so cool because his, his uh, equipment didn't get ruined. It's like, that's amazing, right? That, that means that like the business is bringing you happiness. Like you understand that crap happens, but you can deliver. I don't know. It's very cool. But anyway, if you haven't had a chance to check out on the coast stuff and you want to help, certainly go do that. It's totally beneficial to help people out there. We get a lot of window cleaners out there and pressure washers are actually going out to help. If you're a pressure washer and you're helping out there, thank you. It's pretty awesome. Uh, flood waters will go back. Anytime there's a natural disaster, the problem is, is that getting back in your feet is all you think about. So something like that always definitely helps. But go out there and be happy. That is the key to everything in business. What makes you happy is different between everybody. So definitely do that. Uh, but that's it for me this week. I wanted to talk about that because it's come up a ton of times. So, But it's there and um, you can run the numbers if you want. But I'm calling to all of you who are listening and watching to please be my clients. Please be my customers. Be, Let me be your rep. You can have your own special rep. I'm special, I'll tell you that much. Uh, But uh, if you're looking for window cleaning supplies or pressure washing supplies, which a lot of you don't know, we have 25, 3,500 SKUs in pressure washing, tons of pressure washing stuff. Uh, But please let me be the one to order. I get people who put it in the cart, then they shoot me a message like, hey, Jersey, it's in my cart, what's up? And I can put it in that way. I have people who call, people who email, and let me put the order in. It truly is amazing that I have so many awesome, awesome, awesome clients. Uh, I hope you can be one of my awesome clients too. That would be uh, awesome for me. Uh, go ahead and thumbs up the video on YouTube. Like I said, we're trying to hit 50 this week. I want to just, what the heck? Share the content. Throw the video out on one of the groups in the Facebook or whatever. Go to any of the groups and share it. That would be awesome. Share the podcast if you want. It's a little harder to do, but it's pretty awesome. Review the podcast. Give us a review. I don't care if it's good. I hope it's good. Uh, but review the podcast but either way my number direct is 862-312-2026 and yes that's my cell phone shoot me a text let me be your rep so i can eat brand name was hot dogs was the last one i got an email just today that said hey my order's ready uh now you can eat your brand name hot dogs boom boom thank you thank you very much for everybody who listens watches shares the content thumbs up blah, blah, blah. awesome and until next week go out there And make a million bucks if you want, but go out there and be epic and be happy.